All right, everybody, welcome back to part three of my let's play of Outer Wilds. Really excited to get back into this. Thank you, everybody, for all the support, both on the stream and on YouTube. You guys have been absolutely awesome and uh, had some really good comments. And um, uh, a couple of things have been sort of made apparent to me. Um, so first of all, it turns out I missed a tutorial on the uh, the first episode. So I'm actually going to go and quickly just uh, cover that off because, um, you know, I think we uh, probably do as good to uh, get all of the tutorials under our belt. And it was when we said we didn't want to play with the uh, the guy over here with our signal scope. Uh, thanks to LB for pointing that one out. Um, I don't think it hindered us too much, but LB said it might have sort of explained how the signal scope um, worked a little bit earlier on in the game when we uh, initially started playing. I mean, I think we've pretty much worked out how everything works now, but it's, uh, it's always good to do the uh, tutorials. My favorite, what's with the radio? Sure, let's play. All right, here's the rules. Can enemy will hide with these radios and you will use your signal scope to find us. Last one to be found wins. Okay, start to close your eyes and start counting. Kind of weird, like, the way their eyes close there. Um... Big yikes. Let's uh, get out of the water. That's not a very good start, is it? Is that your job, Leo? You're, you're a translator. It's interesting. I guess I have to get like pretty close to... Ah, oh, you found me, but my home spot was super good. Don't forget, you have to find both of us, okay? I won. I'm happy. Thanks for playing with us. Alright, so yeah, that's... Um It's just the uh, the hide and seek beacons. So yeah, nice little tutorial there for like kind of how to use a signal scope. Okay, that's pretty cool. Video games translation. All right, so. We've uh, obviously got these um, bits and pieces here. Now, I don't know um, whether or not um, the loop happens until you leave this planet. I don't know if um, things still go, um, whether you can like, stay here for as long as, as, as possible before obviously leaving. And then the loop only starts when you leave this planet. Because I was thinking about this before, like in my first episode, I think we was here for probably a good... 30, 40, 45 minutes, maybe even an hour, and obviously the loop didn't happen. So, um, yeah, I'm a little bit unsure about that. But we're going to carry on um, looking at um, Brittle Hollow and everything around the surrounding Brittle Hollow. So if we go to our uh, rumor log over here, um, if we can find it, we've still got some stuff to find at the Hanging City. And then... We haven't found the escape pod yet, but these may be on these may be on different planets. But we've got the um, we've got the signal um, on our signal scope to kind of find the um, distress beacon. So hopefully we can find the other two escape pods. Oh, it's got coffee. Uh, then we've got the vessel, which is um, obviously we pretty much no stuff about the vessel but yeah this is pretty much where we are 
kind of looking right now we've got the 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 northern glaciers where we warp into when we use the um the white hole station and then we've got this uh, quantum moon here and we have also these quantum shards so this, this shard emits the same signal as the quantum moon now i don't think we've got this one locked onto our signal scope so i think it might be worthwhile trying to like if we go back to um we try and go back to this shard or try and find this shard um at the tower of quantum knowledge maybe it will help us to find the uh, the quantum moon so um yeah indifferential what is going on psychological atom as well that's a new name welcome welcome guys how y'all doing so yeah i think we're gonna start um got quite a few bits and pieces to do we've got obviously the tower and the hanging city we've still got some bits to do we didn't work out what to do with the black hole forge and if there is anything to do of course but we haven't worked out how to get into it at least and then we haven't completed the um, gravity cannon. But I don't think we're going to be able to do the gravity cannon until we have at least located the um, uh, quantum uh, moon. So, yeah, I think we'll start off heading off to the quantum moon, I think. Or looking, at least, for the quantum moon. So, uh... Yeah, let's buckle up and head off into space for the uh, the first time tonight. So, let's have a look. The tower is here. I think this is where we want to be, isn't it? Oh, we're going to crash. Alright, we didn't crash. Mika, every time, man. I want to become famous. <laughs> no, thanks, probably appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Alright, so where was the quantum shard? Am I in the right place? That's the Tower of Knowledge, isn't it? The Quantum Tower. Which we haven't yet been into. Actually, no, that's not the Quantum Tower, is it? No, that's the... Um... Alright, we're in the wrong place. That's the Gravity Cannon. Alright, so... for the quantum shard I 
that's the vessel. This is the glacier in the observatory. There's Ryabeck's ship. Yeah, I've come to realise that landing is a bit of a control crash uh, in differential. I think it's here, isn't it? This looks like a quantum... No, that's where Ryabeck entered the... Thing in city and whatnot. Probably shouldn't do that while we're uh, hanging over a massive. All right, let's look at the map now. Where are you? You there? I wish you could like zoom in a bit more on this view. Could use my um here we are. Here it is. We found it. Alright, so Okay, looks like we've already addressed that one. Trees grow on about freely, the entire plant roots and all. This is not normal, even if this alien planet I have seen I've never seen them move. Is that even possible? If anyone else wants to see this certain behaviour, I implore you, record your observations. Either these trees are ab aberrant or my brain must be. Alarmingly, it isn't only the trees, there is other matter in this area, such as the unusual shard of rock moving in the same eerie way. That rock is unusual for another reason, too. Thatch. It possesses colour and texture I've never seen elsewhere on this planet. I posted the rock shard present is significant. We should study it. Could it be what's causing the other nearby objects to also move about in this area? Plune is right. The trees don't move. I confess, I didn't notice until I read his notes. The trees do move, sorry. That's my, uh, it's my home place, isn't it? Beneath your feet lies tower of quantum knowledge. If you're preparing to make your first pilgrimage to the quantum moon, descend the steps to the entrance below. The knowledge held within will help you on your journey. All right, didn't we go down here before, though? I don't think I'm in the right place, personally. I don't think I'm in the right place. Why am I whistling? 
I am not. Yeah, the black hole's down there. Let's not go that way. So I never really understood what it was I was meant to be doing here at the Tower of Knowledge. I never really got into here, did I? The entrance is 90 meters below. But you see, the entrance is completely and utterly, like, destroyed. So yeah, send these stairs and obtain the last of the knowledge you need to go on for your journey. And obviously everything is broken, so... There must be a way somewhere... There must be a way that we can... Repair this or move the stuff here. I don't know if... Has that gone like straight out the top? Oh, it did. can't rotate that it doesn't look like I can only like rotate it around but yeah we need to work out how to get in there that's um it's the big sticking point at the moment isn't it Surface integrity is not too good there. So, something on top there, isn't there, as well? Because now I've determined this, this, this atypical shard of rock is the reason the objects in this grove behave in a quantum manner. Of note, a unique signal is coming from this shard. Curiously, our friend, the wandering moon, sounds the same. Also, the same signal this shard produces calling out from Giant's Deep, Timber Hearth, and the Hourglass Twin. Suppose there are other shards like this one. The only other object we've observed displaying this quantum behavior is the Wandering Moon. I imagine the moon's behavior and this groves are related. In a note from earlier, Felix mentions this strange type of rock isn't found elsewhere on Brittle Hollow. What if it isn't originally from this planet? Quantum Shard is from the Wandering Quantum Moon. Perhaps it is even a small piece of the moon itself. So... 
So, um... What if I was to look away? Okay, so... I know I'm stood on top of it, right? But the idea is, if you look away from this thing, it moves. No? I guess that's not the case when I'm on it. Which is fair enough. lines we're doing. That's the one on the Hourglass Twins. That's the one on Timber Hearth. Timber Heath, Timber Hearth. Hmm. Okay, well, having a quick look through this, obviously we need to read what's down there. Hmm. Alright, so we've got a few more from reading that text then. I know my detective quantum signal coming from somewhere on the Hourglass Twins. Detective signal coming somewhere on Giants Deep. Okay, so... Maybe we should go to the other planets. Because... Hmm. I don't know. It's whether or not... I, I don't know what to do, whether or not to like keep exploring Brittle Hollow. Or if I should... Um, pursue the quantum moon thing. Alright, let's, um...
All right, let's go and find the other. Um, let's go find the other signals. I think that's what I'm going to do. Wait, is this... Is this the quantum moon? What was that? Huh. Whatever it was, I wasn't able to um, pick it up. That's Giant's Deep. I went way past Giants Deep here. You feel left out of the charm? The, um, the event's about to happen, isn't it? Oh wow, this planet is uh, something. Obviously we've seen these uh, cyclones before, haven't we? We saw these in the observatory and it's how the Nomai transported things around, wasn't it? Yeah. 
If I don't look at it, it can't hurt me, right? <laughs> All right, so let's go and check out. The new plan of action is to go and check out, um, or try and check out these other shards, at least. Go get it. Certainly looks like an interesting planet. No, let's not get distracted. Okay. So where are these? Where are these fluctuations then? Almost looks like this one is in here. I don't know that I can take my Is there a way to get in here? I don't know if this is a wise idea or not. I don't appear to be going anywhere. There is, however, another ship right over here. I can only assume this is, is it, was it Garrow that came here? I wonder if I go low enough whether or not I'll be able to swim underneath it. One thing I'm wary of though is whether there's any of the, um, the fish things. So, 
I don't think I can swim into these. So... Scout's just gone completely. So I wonder if I need to find one of the funnels that's like pulling down because that's what we found out from the observatory, wasn't it? That um, there's two different types of funnels, some that pull down and some that push up. Oh, hello. like a bit of rock appeared out of nowhere I right, got some gravity crystals over here Statue workshop. Right, so we can't get in there. This must be a bit like the observatory, I guess. Looks like we can um, open it from the inside. look around here this uh oh jeez um Okay. I guess I kind of see now why the um, I guess I kind of see now why that like the ship was like anchored onto the um, anchored onto that rock. Okay. I kind of guess we don't want to be hanging around too much on these um, rocks. Oh, we found another time travel thing. Uh, if you change your name, Atom, then uh, I'll have to do, um, I'll have to, like, conca concatenate your uh, points or add on your points from your old name to your new one. Um, the bot doesn't realise that you're the same person, so I'll just have to uh, update bits and pieces. So the 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 shard or the quantum shard or whatever is over there by the looks of it in that 
in the vicinity over there somehow. So I don't know how we're going to get over to there. And I don't think with this I can time travel backwards, can I? So this is where we came from. Going to test the memory statues tonight. Flock says it could be dangerous, so we can't come. But what if we don't didn't use the door and snuck in the other way? Does anyone want to? So where's the other way then? Um, Flock specifically told us not to do that. I really want to see the test too, Lammy, but that's that's a huge risk to take. We probably shouldn't shouldn't. Maybe Flox Flox will let us see later tests. A later test. Sorry. Alright, so there's, uh, there's a way to sneak in then, it seems. Six dollars a month to subscribe? Really? Also, uh, we can't just... Um, we can't jump around and jetpack around as much as we did on the previous planets because we've got... Uh, a much stronger force of gravity on this planet, it's like times two, so... I kind of feel like we need to, um... Oh. Also, I think I'm stuck. I'm stuck. This is my life now. Oh, we're out. Excellent. So is there a way that I can actually get over to there then? One thing I've got to be careful of here, though, is, uh, is the uh, ghost matter there. I'll go around. One thing I've got to be careful here, though, is... Um, oh, we're going to get sent up into the air in a minute, aren't we? Because the... Um, because the gravity force is much higher... Um, I'm using... More fuel to get around. A year is round the corner. I think I just um, got a little bit crushed there. Giant's Deep is, um, I don't know, Giant's Deep is interesting. I'm not sure I'm understanding, like, what or how to get around Giant's Deep right now. I must where the no micro statues like the one in our observatory. 
found a sign for a statue worship and it's a broken door that used to lead inside the island. So now my children debated bypassing the statue worship door and sneaking inside via an alternate, alternate, more dangerous route. So I wonder if that's past all the ghost matter that we was just like going through there, perhaps. Uh, yes, um, I do, Atom. Um, Twitch takes uh, a, percent, a certain percentage and then uh, the rest, um, I, I get the rest. Right, let's instead then look for, let's see if we can navigate the, the Hourglass Twins any better. find them first. There they are. There they are motoring though. Quite the rate of knots. Once again, I've massively overshot. It's just autopilot it. Alright, so the actual fluctuation is on the Ember Twin, it looks like. says that don't look good Let's um let's jump off. I 
Oh, there was an unknown one there. Let's keep on heading over this way. Where'd it go? Oh, wait a second. Oh, we saw this before. Ow. Ow. Got to avoid the cactus, obviously. This is... We saw this before, didn't we? When we used that... Um, when we used the panel, we got a sneak peek of this from the other... Um, from the other planet. So I think what I just noticed was, I think I saw the quantum moon, but if it be if it behaves like the the rocks do, then obviously the rocks move when you look at them. So I wonder if the same is, I wonder if it's the same for the moon. If you see the moon and you stare at it and you take your eye off it. Oh, hello. We've got another uh, cannon here, look. Sunless City. Shuttle is currently resting at the comet. Call the shuttle home. Activate the cannon. I gotta watch out for the cactus. going that way. That's for sure. Alright, so we can do that and we do that, but how do we get to... There's another staircase around here, I think, by the looks of it. I think the I fear our situation may be dire. Piepoke and I landed on this comet not long after its arrival in the star system. Our shuttle's equipment heard strange energy readings coming from somewhere beneath the surface. Pi and Poke were able to locate a, a fissure in the ice of the comet's sunward side and they descend descended inside to investigate the source of the readings. But Pi and my sister have been gone for a long time now. They haven't contacted me since descending below the surface either. 
Should I leave the shuttle to look for them? I want to follow protocol, but I don't know what I'll do if they aren't well. Poke, pie, come back to me safely, my friends. <laughs> okay. It's quite like interesting. It must be one of the um, Nomai's um, suits. Mask. You get the feeling like you're about to go into the sun and die. Still don't quite know or understand like the gravity cannons and the shuttles. No, it wasn't even supernova me, we just drove straight into the sun. Um Like the first one, the first shot we came across said that the coordinates were already punched in and that it would land on the moon, right? <laughs> to be fair, Leah, that doesn't surprise me. Uh, the no man landed on the interlo interloper not long after its arrival in the solar system. The shuttle's equipment heard strange readings coming from somewhere beneath the surface. Clary, the no man stayed behind, lost contact with the other two after they descended below the interloper's surface. The shuttle's equipment heard strange readings coming from somewhere beneath the surface. Two of the no man located a fissure in the ice of the interloper's sunward side. They descend descended inside to investigate further. Boots and structure generate a strong upward gravity field. I recall no mile shutter. I recalled a no mile a no my shutter from the interloper. You see, how do we get to the interloper? That's found a trail marker for the Sunless City, but the path is blocked. I kind of feel like we should like head back maybe to the Hourglass Twins. I'm going to start using autopilot just so we don't overshoot these planets. Okay, I think this is uh, another um, one of the distress beacons, isn't it? Oh, I might want to put my spacesuit on. Let's try that again.
Alright, escape pod two. We need status reports for all systems, but in but initial things first, is everyone un, is everyone unharmed? Our escape pods passengers are afraid, but physically well. Everyone survived the crash. Oh wait a minute, so hold on. What I thought was the vessel is not the vessel at all, is it? The um it's it's the escape pod. So we've not found the vessel as such yet, have we? Makes sense. Sorry. That was um that was a dumb observation and conclusion from myself. This is a relief at least. You have my gratitude. Burr, were you able to find the other escape pods distress signals? I can hear both signals somewhere in the star system, but I don't believe either escape pod crashed on the same planet as us. Alright, so we got Escape Pod 2 vessel has been mortally injured. Emergency was activated, awaiting departure from the vessel. Escape Pod 3 now launching Escape Pod 2. Collision imminent, preparing for impact. Scanning external environment, scan complete. External temperature is prohibitively, prohibitively high. Verdict inhospitable. Do not seek shelter on the planet's surface. Okay. The heat from the star system sun is more bearable below the surface. When our escape pod punctured this planet's surface, it broke into what's, what scans show is a cave system with much cooler air. I would recommend we seek site down there to build a long-term shelter. Uh, I know, nah, but these passages are a maze. Even with this danger, they are still best, our best chance of survival. We'll form teams and descend into the caves to look for a shelter site. Uh, we can mark our findings on the walls to avoid becoming irreversibly lost. Be cautious, everyone. And be aware of the sand in your, as you search. It appears to be rising gradually. Okay, so we've got to be wary of um, rising sand, it seems, on this planet then. Emergency escape hatch. Keep moving, friends. There is nothing in of interest at the ends of this passage but rocks. And while the rocks are interesting, they can wait until less urgent time. Do not follow this tunnel to its end. Calias and I will examine the horror that lies at its terminus later, providing we live through this. Oh, it's the, um... It's an anglerfish fo fossil. Okay. Okay, it's done. Just checking. can hear the sand. We found an enormous cavern at the end of this passage that appears promising. I believe we could construct long-term shelter there. The cavern Merlong found is a wise choice for the shelter. Could one of you mark directions for the others to follow? This is the start of the path to the shelter. I've left directions to guide you there. Of note, we must hurry as the pathway there is filling with sand. Do not allow yourself to be buried by sand and make sure no one is lost. Okay. Before we go over there. Uh, I've noticed this patch leads to breathable air. Refill your supply tank where? There. We cannot tell you how far deep these tunnels may wind. But do not linger as the air is exposed to the heat of this alien sun. I have eight new messages. Uh, I have been reading them. Refill your air supply and tank and return quickly. Right, 
so it's just uh, it's just the trees. I'm keeping an eye on chat, guys. I'm just um, also sort of focusing quite heavily. Surely if they wrote, like, everything on the walls, like the tunnels are filling with sand and to be quick and, and whatnot, um, wouldn't you think that by the time we get here, everything would be pretty much buried? Path to the shelter site is somewhat convoluted, so follow the instructions ahead closely. To reach shelter site, walk forward until you meet the sandfall at the pit, then turn left. Continue to the room filled with rock column formations and climb upwards through the opening above them. That sounds a bit... So, walk forward until you meet the sandfall at the pit. Then turn left. Continue to the room filled with rock column formations and climb upwards. Right, so that'd be this way. That's the pit. Then turn left. And then what a room with rock formations and climb upwards. How did they climb up, I wonder? I guess they all had jetpacks themselves, maybe? Be cautious crossing the chasm ahead. The bridge Mel Melro and I crafted will do its job, but it isn't strong. Okay. Once on the far side, look for the tunnel hidden behind the falling sand. Follow it and you'll reach the shelter site. Alrighty then. So behind the falling sand, didn't it? You're doing well. There's only a little further to go net to go now until you reach the shell site. You can rest there. Hurry before the sand comes. Just got to be careful here of the, um, yeah, just got to be careful of all of the uh, cacti here. Did I just boo-boo? Uh, uh oh. I think mistakes were made. There's zero gravity here though, so... Alright, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. We're good. Got sand in the chat box. Okay, so we have... I guess the city is behind there. Or something, there is something at least behind that door. This is amazing. Look inside the cave. How did the how did this come to rest here? We haven't encountered others in these caves. I think this is a rare find. From what I can see, Calias and I believe that the specimen is very odd indeed. Imagine what we might learn from could examine it. We both argue agree, sorry, it's unlikely that this dry planet is the horror place of the of origin. Especially consider what we observed during the vessel's evacuation. Clearly, this hole is too small for it to have fit, fit, have fit through. There is another entrance to this cave. If there is, Calias and I will find it. We can't leave valuable information undiscovered. An update. We need to find a way in, inside quickly. Morale, because I returned here to search for an entrance to the cave, there were children playing on the specimen. Yeah, you see, this is the... Um, Again, this is the ruins of the um, the fish, isn't it? Uh, 
Um, I haven't yet. No, I haven't yet, Mika. So yes, that's the fossil overlook. They're um and it's probably not surprising, but their settlements are all very similar, aren't they? They look very, very similar indeed. Should we build the sun station to power the Ash Twin project? I almost can't comprehend this is this is being suggested seriously. The purpose of the sun station goes against every standard we hold us, hold ourselves to and everything we believe in as a species. Unsurprisingly, Idea Idea? Idea? I disagree. We're pushing a possible new technology further than ever before. That is my experience in the defining characteristics of our species. Are there other ways to generate this level of power? Theoretically, yes. Practically, no. I can't imagine discovering them in our lifetime. I understand this proposal is unsettling, but the sun station must be built if we, uh, if we hope to complete the Ash Twin project. Um... Read this last one. If we all fail, and the probability of this is not insignificant, we will without question destroy ourselves, all life here, and the rest of the star system. I wish to protect these species. The potential annihilation of the entire star system is too severe at a cost. We shouldn't build the sun station, no matter how badly we want the knowledge that comes with it. Fear of failure is a poor reason not to try. I believe if we're cautious, the sun station will work. I believe in Pi. Poke, I'm deeply honoured. Idea, I, I comprehend your position. However, if we aren't able, if we aren't all but certain the sun station will not cause disruption once we've built it, then I won't support the station's use. Okay, so they are going to build something on here as well. Different sound is okay, it's got different districts here again. Okay, so we've got all of our districts here. Let's have a look at the Eye Shrine District first. I think it's probably going to be the best way to sort of navigate this. Um, yeah, we can't go in there at the minute because we don't know how to get past the ghost matter. So... I don't know why everyone says the eye is important. They say it brought us to this it brought us to this solar system, but is that good? Dad told me that lots of Nomai died when our clan came here. What if the eye wanted that to happen? What if the eye isn't something good? All quite valid um, questions. I think it's probably safe to go across here. Oh, there's a whole other thing over there, look. Still filling with sand everywhere I can everywhere I go, that's all I can hear.
yeah, this is, um, this is a pretty deadly place by the looks of it. With all the ghost matter and everything that's around here, I don't think there's much we can do here. Unless there's a way around. I don't think there is. No. The sand weighs us down, so we can't jump up there. Okay, so until we can find a way to get around the ghost matter, I think that route is um, off limits. Okay, this is a way to the gravity cannon. But again, I mean, that's just, yeah. That's a no no. Oh wow, this uh, this sand is rising quickly now. That's not good. Yikes, it is rising very quickly. Um, quite mad really like how how fast you have to be this was the gravity cannon wasn't it all right well I was gonna say we might be able to get through here but Well, um, I have the unfortunate feeling now that this is our demise. Because we don't have anywhere to go here, do we? Yeah, there's, uh, there's really not a lot we can do here. How come the door to the gravity cannon shut? Oh, maybe I shut it by accident.
Well, um, it all depends if the if the developers would consider it being profitable. I guess, Minka. It's. I wouldn't say it's unheard of. All right, so I might as well just uh, get crushed. I was a squidgy death. All right, so I'm quite curious with this one because this planet seems like it seems to have to be like really, really quickly, like really, really quick to get to that point. But there must be a shortcut somewhere, surely. And I wonder if that's what was being hinted at with regards to the... Um, I wonder if that was what's being hinted at earlier with um, the the fish fossil, the fossil that was found. Yeah. So there must be a way into the fossil somewhere. So I know we haven't like come across any anglerfish, like any lie, any live um, anglerfish yet. But I guess once we have, we'll then be able to. So I wonder if they're. Um, I wonder if it's the. I wonder if anglerfish are like swimming around in uh, was it Giants Deep? I think it was. So I wonder if like once we've done that, maybe we're not. We can like swim a bit lower and learn how to get past them um so one of the pods scratch the solar system all three escape pods were launched from something called the vessel which was badly damaged then i built into the walls of the huge underground cavern the city is divided vertically into four districts the nomad debated building sun station in order to power the ash twin project several nomad opposed its construction and the failure could result in the destruction of the solar system Excuse me. Left by sand. Uh, the debate building so, uh, sun station in order to power the Ash Twin project. All right, so shall we head back to the... Should we head back to... I guess, like, as we uncover more, right, I guess everything is just going to become interconnected anyway, which is the whole point. Everything is going to become connected, and then we can sort of lead into one ultimate conclusion. All right, let's head back to the sea. So back to the city. The autopilot seems definitely seems to be like a quicker way to get places, which is quite nice.
So there's the ship. All right, suit up, and let's go. Let's explore these canyons. I don't know if... Alright, we've got another gravity cannon. I say another, but we've found this before, haven't we, already? Now we can't get through here, can we? No, and even if we could, there was the, um... Yeah, even if we could get through there. It's blocked off by the cactus, so... I'm sure there's a way that we can probably get through and past the cactus. a big hit. Um, Sun Cities. So we need a quick way to get to the Sun City. get up there as well. I wonder if this is a quicker way into the caves. We should really get this signal though. Hopefully, there's a fuel tank over here. Hey, it's Chert. Goodness, it's you. Hello. I take it your first launch went well then. Welcome to the Hourglass Twins. Mind the sun now. Hornfells asked me to update our star chart, so I'm out observing. Yeah, it's very unique, Mika. I, I would find it hard to uh, compare it to anything I know of as well. Um, this is one of the best places in the solar system to spot astronomical events, you know. What's weird is I've actually seen a couple of supernovas today. Usually, I'd be fortunate just to see just one. Keep an eye or four on the stars, and maybe you'll spot one yourself. Tell me what I can do for you. 
Um, Alright, so. Question for you. How do you know if you spotted a supernova? Like an extra bright, extra bright stars to the naked eye, but if you zoom in with your signal scope, you can tell that they're actually enormous explosions. Massive stars go supernova at the very end of their last banner, which is why it's so unusual to see two in a single day. Wonder if it's wonder if some of these stars are older than we realise. Uh, right now, I'm documenting stars. Hornfels noticed our star charts are out of date, so he's asked me to update them. Please didn't tell the others I said this, but sometimes I think I'm the only traveller out here interested in doing any science at all. Uh, maybe don't tell Hornfell either. I think this is pretty deep in denial. Uh, where should I explore? To be honest, I haven't left this lake bed. I don't mean to brag, but I'm really quite good with the little scout. So I've been taking pictures of everything from right here in the campsite. Have you seen the old shipwreck site on the Ember Twin Southern Hemisphere? The one shooting a bright beam of light on the sky. Yes, I have. It's not one of the uh, one of our own crashes, surprisingly enough. This one's a Nomai ship. You'll find no my ruins across the twins, but strangely not a single settlement. Believe me, if there was one to see, I'd have seen it with my little scout while it's under the ground. That's why I haven't seen it. So where did they live? Not on the surface, clearly. Ember Twins is full of cave systems, though. Maybe the answer lies underground. How dangerous is the big column of falling sand? On a scale of one to dead, I'd give it a seven or eight. Awfully pretty, though. Right now, sand is flying from the Ash Twin to the Ember Twin, but... Did you know the process eventually reverses? We're not completely sure why the sand flows back and forth between the twins, but it seems to be a natural phenomenon. Oh, if you'd like to see something interesting, check out the other twin once once a little more of its sand drains off. I promise you won't be disappointed. All right. Watch out for the sand, okay? If I've had to dig myself out once or twice, and that's not as half fun as it sounds. All right. All right, so now that we've done that. So we what the what um chert, sorry, is basically saying I think is that the sand event for the first part of the day, I think we would see that the sand is on the other twin. So I think exploring the other twin would be quite difficult until a bit later. But then, obviously, as we know, a little bit later, the um, uh, sand ends up back here, so... Alright, we found the cave shard. Cleus is missing. He vanished from the lake bed cave. The one at the bottom of the city, above the dry lake bed at the North Pole, several days ago, and we're unable to find any trace of him. I don't know how much air he had when he disappeared. I beg any friends read this. Help us, sorry, help us recover Calias. Okay, this rock is very familiar. Did you travel here? my sedimentary friend, because your unique colour and texture appears identical to a rock I met earlier. Wasn't this the same rock fragment in the cave we found at the bottom of the dry lake bed at the North Pole? We plan to re to re-examine the northern lake bed cave. Maybe our friendly rock will meet us down there. An update. Mel, Mel Ray and I went back to the lake bed cave and observed the rock in. Sometimes it's there and sometimes it isn't. This means that the rock wanders like the quantum moon does. How curious. Indeed. Oh, it's back. Them, them rocks are absolutely bizarre. They're fascinating, but man, they are bizarre. All right, we still need to try and get access to the sun, the city. 
and find a quick route down there. Ouch. Yeah, so that's the Sunless City in there. So we've already been, like, up to here. This is the crash site, isn't it? Is it? I don't know, actually. This door will need to remain closed for some time. Pi and I are running an experiment based on extraordinary findings from the White Hole Station. Rami and I will be running this experiment until one of us, specifically me, can prove the other wrong. So although it's inconvenient, the lab currently can only be accessed from the path on the Sun City. Okay, so we need to get Sun City to get to the lab. Inviting sand inside will disrupt our setup and could have enormous consequences. Realize this inferior prospect, but the door must remain closed nonetheless. An update the high energy lab is now being used to design the Ash Twin project. If you're here to help, be sure to use the Sun City path to the lab. Okay. So we need to get to there. Alright, so we gotta get to the we've gotta go back to the um we've got to go back to the Sun City. We've definitely been here anyway before. There was Quantum Moon again. And we're gonna die. So the sand is already rising. I think we've we've like had too much time now. Out and about. Yeah, this was the little grove place, wasn't it? Yeah, that's a crash site. And then... This way... So I think already, like, the path is already being destroyed, isn't it? I might as well just die now, to be fair. Rock formations, hole through there. Like I said, I don't really think that there's um, too much point in carrying on right now because we're not going to make anything. By the time we get to the city now, it's going to be completely buried in sand, isn't it? So. Oh no, we're alright actually. We're alright at the minute. All right, so we did the eye. Where's the trail for the lab? Maybe I am 
I'm too late. Yeah, I'm too late for that, look. That's the Anglerfish Overlook District. That's the fossil. I think it's where we got to actually before and we were starting to get trapped when uh, we was coming up to the end before. if there's like a real secret squirrel ray easy for me to say a secret squirrel way to get into the fossil there's a way into there I don't know how to do it at the moment though out of fuel now as well which isn't good <laughs> um we don't really have a lot of choice about the sand to be fair atom the sand be sanding Yeah, that's the way to the gravity cannon. Um, I need to find... I need to find a quick way we can quickly kill ourselves here actually because of the um, we're now using oxygen to propel ourselves because we're out of fuel I just want to like, stand under a ledge and just get killed relatively quickly um, yeah so we can um, we need to find a really quick way alright something will work We need to find a really quick way to get to here so we can actually have a bit more time so we can have a bit more time to actually explore the sun city or the sunless city I don't know. I'm feeling a bit like meh tonight because I don't feel like I mean I may be but I don't feel personally like I'm making a lot of progress
Morning, Rob. First spot in the cave at the bottom of the dry lake bed at Ember Twin North Pole. No, my named Cleus mysteriously vanished from a cave at the bottom of the dry lake bed at Ember Twins North Pole. So that's just about the quantum caves. Uh, the yeah, the quantum caves rock. Yeah, I mean, I suppose when I look at it like that, uh, Leo, yeah, I've, um, I have kind of, I do seem to have, like, got quite a few of these links and things. I think our, our map and everything is definitely looking a lot better. Um... So we're still marked on there as the marker. Let's go. We, clearly we might need to learn some other abilities somewhere. Screw the ship. Right, so the North Pole is like down here, isn't it? Because yeah, Chert is yeah, Chert's at the top of the North Pole. I only assume this is the cave. In question, where the quantum rock appears.
Where is that shard gone? Ah, we're dead. Um, I wouldn't say it's like about waking up and learning new things, Mickey. You learn new things as you go, like as you go through. But then, when you sort of like go through to the next loop, you already know that knowledge. So then you can, you don't then have to retrace some steps. You can then progress, knowing that knowledge and, and moving forward. So. I wouldn't say as such that. Um, it's not all about dying, but it's all about the exploration, for sure. Tell me more about Feldspar. The four fairmans are out wilds, along with our flight coach, Gossan, Slate, the engineer, and me. Ground control later than using Creator. I didn't work with Feldspar as close as Slate and Gossan did. I can tell you, Feldspar was absolutely fearless, though, and nothing scared him. Test pilot everything Slate ever built. It's a wonder Feldspar lived to see space, frankly, but they did. Flew all sorts of dangerous stunts, excuse me. Flew all sorts of dangerous stunts and explored everything they could find. Then one day they just didn't come back. We don't know what happened or where Felsmar went, or even whether they're still alive. It's been a long time since I left. Um, I suppose in theory, yes, but then I guess it all depends on whether or not I see. I don't know what I'm guessing there is an end game, but I don't know like how you get there. It's obviously like where we're sort of like figuring out. I just want to go to where the um, where the ghost shards are.
Right. This is uh some people have been down here already. Oh, we can't go any further than that, I guess. So we're just going to wait to be um, transported back up again when this geyser goes off. Okay. Alright, while I'm here, I just want to take another look at... Sorry, I didn't finish that sentence. Just want to take another look at everything that's going on around here. Alright, so we've got another time travel thing here. Not the uh, ghost shard things down there. Interesting though, like that. Um, know my um, quick teleportation like thing there is is there. So that's back to the village. Quite a few uh, supernovas going off there. Just interested to see what this um, red dot. I'm, I'm completely distracted at the minute, so I do apologise. I'm kind of like not following suit.
Dead Space, Deep Space Radio, okay. All right, no worries. Right, so this is one of the, um, it's one of our satellites. I guess that's just the, um, I do, yes, I do have the DLC installed. Gabriel here, checking in on the Deep Space Satellite per ground controls request to check out a possible equipment problem. See Hornfels, I do to work. You know, I wouldn't mind being a satellite. It's peaceful out here among the distant stars and soft velvet, velvety darkness, but it's ugh, awfully nice for naps too. All right, the lens. Uh, all right, the little little satellite. Let's see what the trouble is. Uh, everything looks okay, ground control. No dust or scratch on the lens, and no evidence of sparking or violent explosions. And so guess that rules out equipment malfunction after all. Hear that, pal? You're in great shape. Keep up the good work out here. All right. So we just at least we've um, I suppose there we've just got some in, um, information on uh, Gabbro at least. I assume the does the, the the DLC does that just sort of like seamlessly integrate with the actual main game, Leo? Because it does say that I've um, I've, I've got it installed, but I haven't seen like an option to um, do anything with it. If that makes sense. Oh, okay. Wow, we came mightily close there to uh, the sun. Oh, we can't go that way because of ghost matter. Oh man, there is lots of... I'm receiving much for stronger energy readings now that we've beneath the crust. Whatever it is... Whatever it is must lie somewhere below, close to the comet's centre, and I'm starting to think it's more dangerous than we realised. Clary, can you hear us? Yes, but your voices are faint. I, I fear we will lose communication entirely if you continue any deeper. Keep the shuttle warm for us, Clary. We'll return the moment we identify the source of the energy readings. I understand, but be cautious, both of you. Deep space radio. So yeah, we can't really. We could try to go a bit deeper. All 
All right, I don't know if this was uh Yeah, that was dumb. Yeah, no worries, Lee. I understand that. Okay, so that's the, that's a comment. We've uh, seen that mentioned when we were when we found the last when we went onto the last ship from the last um, gravity cannon, um, and the dialogue there that we found alluded to the fact that um, you know they were on there and then they were losing contact with the ship. I found I found the two missing members of the Nomai shuttle crew near a large ruptured stone that looks like it exploded from the inside. There's more to explore here, but we can't we can't explore that really until we know how to get past the um, the ghost shards. So once we know how to get past those, then we can probably do more with that. All right, so let's go back to... our previous... Um, endeavors and try and get back to this sunless city I want to get into the um, laboratory if I can So I think the best way to do this is just go from here. remember which way it is to go walk forward until you meet the sand fill pit turn left continue all right so this turn left continue until we come to the room with the weird rock formations go through the ceiling here not quite sure how I managed to repair that given I was sat right on top of it but I hope the lab isn't it the lab must be down here
Yeah, you have to really be quick, I think, to get to the lab because um, it's right at the bottom. Well, how am I going to get through there? Shit. Sorry. Then I swear. I apologize for swearing. Did the purple thing activate a laser? think so. Alright Mika, no worries. Thanks for hanging buddy. Appreciate it as always. Hopefully we'll catch you next time. I guess I gotta like rush for a start and then just be a bit patient there I guess. Oh. Go around. Here we are. Wow. My oxygen levels are not in a good state. We are in trouble. I guess because I punctured my freaking suit so much, right? Whew. Clutch. All right, we're in the lab. We have made it into the lab. All right, we've got some warp cores here. I need to understand how to do this or how what this is actually doing. I, I kind of guess it's like a couple of different places. Oh, must be midnight. Classic MySQL screwing me over. Right, let's do some reading. Record show that Nomai arriving at the warp receiver on Brittle Hollow very slightly before departing from the White Hole Station. Rami and I are devising an experiment to test if this is a real phenomenon or simple machine error. 
In theory, what we want to try and reproduce is a negative amount of time elapsing between something entering the black hole and exiting the white hole at its destination. Initial things first, our experiment setup will first pair a small black hole core with a small white hole core to mimic the setup on the white hole station. Hypothesis. It is possible for an object to exit a white hole before entering the corresponding, oh sorry, no they're saying it is possible to enter, enter the white hole before exiting the black hole. No, exit the white hole before entering the black, okay. An update, our experiment here reproduced the anomaly in arrival and departure times, but Pi is unconvinced. It's more than an equipment error. I hope to strengthen the effort to, to render it visible to the unaided eye. To that end, we've decided to try adding more energy. I imagine the Sunless City's energy supply should prove sufficient. All available energy has been rerouted from the city to our experiment. Rami and I are about to run a new test. Hypothesis confirmed. Hypothesis confirmed. I saw it. Pi saw it. Hypothesis confirmed. This is beyond extraordinary. This changes everything. What a beautiful day for the intersection of abstract theory and practical application. Of note, Rami. Of note, Rami. Yarrow requests that we let him in before we reroute energy to the experiment. I'd hate to leave him in the dark. That joke. So what was the... So this... So I'm, I think the hypothesis that confirmed, right, is this one that they're talking about on this scroll. That it's possible for an object to, to enter exit a white hole before entering the corresponding black hole. Well, I guess we could probably prove that ourselves, right, by using our scout. Because if we put our scout into the black hole, we should technically see it come out of the white hole before the black, right? Is that a thing we can do? Yeah, there you go, look. It goes in the black and it comes out the white before it's actually gone. Yeah. Okay. I guess these empty ones are just like warp cores that have probably just been used and depleted already. So I don't think there's anything there. I don't think there's anything really to find with those, if I'm completely honest. Southern Observer Observatory is asking if creating a 22 minute interval is possible. Okay, interesting. All right, so this, to have something arrive 22 minutes before it is actually sent through the warp. It's interesting because um, I think t about 20 odd minutes is about the length of time that the uh, the loop goes on, right? We've learned the negative interval of time between departure and arrival can be increased by adding more energy to the warp core. Problematically, the energy required to extend the interval increases at an exponential rate. Hypothesis. Creating a 22 minute long interval is possible, but we are currently unable to generate the necessary energy. Rami and I believe it would be necessary to invent a new method of producing energy, a thrilling but enormous undertaking. We would also require advanced warp technology to be able to handle such energy. 
We would also likely need an enormous space to fit these proposed new energy and warp technologies together. The only location large enough would be Ash Twin. The energy is currently unavailable, you say. You're a gas pie. My pun was unintended, Rami, so I believe it's you who are Aeriform? Er Who's Aeriform? Not sure I uh, understand everything that's being said there. Not getting the puns. The Ash Twin project will be one of our biggest undertakings, metaphorically and physically. To build it, we need a way to travel quickly between Ash Twin and each location that holds crucial project materials. All right, so this is this branching on to like why they've got the funnels. What if we use the warp towers like the ones we have on the Whitehall station to connect Ash Twin directly to each critical location? Of note, each tower on Ash Twin will warp to a different planet. Possibly then. My gratitude to those who noted my in impressive language. Yes, the sun is not a planet. I believe this is this has been sufficiently clarified. Kindly stop reminding me. We can design each tower to visually reflect its warp destination. The Giant's Deep Tower, for instance, could resemble a cyclone. And we could model the Timber Hearth Tower after a geysered mountain. All right, so yeah, well, I think we've already been, isn't that the, the bit where we went in down the middle and landed, I think? I'm pretty sure it was. I think this, these are the, um, these could be like, these are the towers, aren't they? These are the separate towers right here. I do believe. Yeah, so we've read that. Oh, maybe this is the quick way to the Sunless City. Maybe this is the quick way to the Sunless City. We just come to the lab, maybe? Although we rushed in there and did uh, did stupid stuff in the end, there we learned quite a lot. So they've they've confirmed their theory that um, you arrive outside of a out of a white hole before you enter a black hole. And then we've learned about the towers. Um, that the towers on each planet is it each planet or is no? I think it's the towers on the Ash Twin. Sorry are what links to the um, different areas on each planet to allow the fast travel to gather the resources. So yeah, there we go. Um, Successor terminology, I first observed that the White Hole Station warped up to arrive before they depart. The NAMA discovered they, would be, they could increase the negative time interval between arrival and departure by adding energy to the warp cores. And NAMA wanted to know if 22 minute negative time interval was possible. They concluded it would require new technology to produce the necessary energy, as well as an advanced warp core to handle these energies. Ash Twin was the proposed location for the project. Um, designs for each of the tower on the Ashtrins on the Ashtrins equator. Each tower walked to a different planet, although many Nomai were quick to note that the sun is not actually a planet. Each tower was designed to visually reflect its warp destination, and the towers allowed the Nomai to quickly travel between the Ash Twin and all other locations crucial to the Ash Twin project. Nomai planned to construct technology capable of producing a 22 minute negative time interval on Ash Twin. Who 
Have we already been to... Ah. Did we already go to the Ash Twin? Am I mind or from the site to craft a protective shell designed to physically seal off the central chamber inside Ash Twin? Maybe we did. I don't remember going to Ash Twin though. But yeah, maybe we did. Um, church starts to lose your high number of super active supernovas recently. Now, I mean, not to sort of speculate and come up with my own like theories and whatnot, but okay, that makes sense. Um, it is like the unusually high number of supernovas or novae. Um, is that related, do you think? Maybe that could be related to the... Trying to like get the increased energy and the increased power to create the additional like time displacement for the, the 22 minute interval. Very interesting indeed. Very, very interesting. So it looks like they were they got the they've got the forge on um Brittle Hollow, I think it's called I think it's Brittle Hollow. Um which obviously they were using for something. And then they contemplated building this sun station. Now Maybe, again, the sun station is um, what's maybe causing the supernova events. I don't know. I don't know. Still a lot of question marks and a lot of things to be answered. But guys, but that is going to bring us to the end of the stream tonight. Thank you very much, everybody, for hanging out. I said, I don't know. I, I, I'm finding it hard to gauge how tonight has gone. Um, I don't know. We've obviously uncovered like some, some new bits and pieces. I just feel like I've been a bit disjointed and I've been a bit like here there and everywhere so I'm it's, it's hard for me to sort of gauge how uh how well I've actually progressed in in the game we've obviously we've we found out some interesting things and I'm starting to build some you know some ideas whether or not they be um good ideas or bad ideas of course I it's, it's hard to say at this point in moment in time but yeah I think um probably when we come back to this tomorrow night I probably need to try and think to be more um more focused on following a single line of inquiry i think maybe i should have pers per, um i should have carried on going down the brittle hollow um sort of line of inquiry today or tonight um rather than going off to the um the the hourglass twins but um I don't know. I don't know. It's hard to say. I think overall we we have made good progress. Um and we found out lots of like I say, we found out we have found out some new and interesting um information and um like I, I just I've just been doing that like I know I'm pretty stuff, but have managed to also um come up with some ideas about what might be going in my own head but we'll be back tomorrow night guys carrying on with part number four of the outer wilds now the it's just outer wilds so uh yeah i want to thank everybody else though for um everybody for tuning in guys i really appreciate your support as always um hope to have you along with the ride for the ride sorry in the next part and uh, until then guys enjoy the rest of your day whatever you're doing thank you very much for watching as always i've been knock you've been awesome stay safe and as always happy gaming thanks guys catch you later bye, -bye.